Hi Gemini, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we'll be getting you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides would like to tell you at this time. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, let's get your cards. Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups. All right, Gemini, you're thinking about the past. Why? Why are you thinking about the past? Something you had to walk away from? Something that wasn't right for you? Maybe you didn't get the closure you needed? But you're definitely thinking about something from the past. Somebody from the past keeps coming up or a situation from the past keeps coming back up. And um, they, they want you right now to focus on your intuition because your intuition is probably telling you that, you know, that situation wasn't meant for you and you're in a better place now and and you need to keep going and doing what you're doing now and you're on your soul path. Leave that past behind. You got to trust that intuition of yours, but sometimes we get a hold of something that we can't let go of because maybe we just didn't get the closure we really needed. But and it could be because somebody, somebody's coming in with um, some kind of news for you. You could be um, learning something here. And it brings all of these old feelings up. You know, maybe somebody, you heard something about somebody or you saw somebody and you got, you got news of something. But what I want to say is that there's a new beginning here for you. Some kind of new beginning. Um, I want you to let go of the past. I, I'm, this is just my opinion. You, of course, you don't have to do take my advice here. You could do what you want. Um, because you always have to do what's best for you. But right now, uh, from these cards, I'm just feeling like you got a new beginning here. So, like, let's make this best of this new beginning and let go of the past. But you're definitely the past is. Shining its head here somehow, some way. Now let's take a look at it. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, The Hermit. Eight of Swords. All right, so you do have double force here. You're you're there's some there, you're holding on to something from the past a little too tightly, and I feel like that's making you unsatisfied in your life right now. Um, I I want you to I, you need to get overcome this because whatever this past situation was, it, it's making you feel like nothing right now is good enough. They're saying they want you to go into hermit mode. They want you to go look inside for the answers. You're intuitive enough to understand what you got to do and where you're going. They just want you to dig deep. Find your strength. Find that inner wisdom. Get out of your head. Because you're in your head. And there's something you're worried about. You're worried about that you'll never have a love like that again. Or you'll never have be as successful as you were that as you know then or something and that's all that's all false narratives that you're telling yourself get out of your head get out of your head you gotta you gotta dig deep figure out what's gonna make you happy in the moment what's gonna make you happy right now and then take steps to achieve that we create our reality Our thoughts are important because we are what we think. So get out of that head of yours. 
Let's see what else we get. Sorry, my nose was running. Psychic awareness. Yeah. They want you to trust your intuition. Trust what they're giving you. They're, they're giving you your answers. You just not might not be paying attention or you might not be listening. And you, you just got to listen because they're going to give you inspired ideas, inspired action to take. They're going to give you what you need. Unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Um, they're saying they want you to create something, but what I'm saying is, what I'm feeling from that card is that you're a unicorn. You're rare. You're unique. You're special. You're magical. So, whatever you're going through right now, let's pull ourselves out of it. Let's be reminded of how much of a unicorn we really are we're special you are definitely special you gemini and uh you just gotta sh you just gotta believe it because i think the world sees it you just might not see it Um, hey you, somebody's trying to get your attention here. Let's get the, let's read the book. That's your angels and guides wanting to get your attention. We'd like to interrupt this oracle deck with a very important announcement. There is nothing to fear. Every single thing that looks ominous is but an illusion. It has no power. Zip, not a zilch. It's time to look your fears straight in the eye and call them out as the insignificant posers they really are. Well, there you are. You're thinking about something that happened in the past and there's some fear that surrounds it and uh, it has no bearing. It has no power. So stop giving it power. There's nothing to fear. You're amazing. You're magical create your reality right now right be positive think highly of yourself love yourself love yourself when you love yourself others have no choice but to love you right if you doubt yourself if you're hard on yourself if you don't like yourself nobody's gonna like you either <laughs> you know what i mean the universe gives us what we are not necessarily what we want we want love. We got to be love. We got to feel love. We got to love ourselves. You know? So, keep that in mind. The unending sadness of looking back. <laughs> so perfect, right? Endless regret. Obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia. Replaying the past. I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're replaying the past. Why? The past is the past for a reason. Right? The future. Look for the future. Look, look at the present. Live in the here and now. What's going to make you happy now? The present is a gift. It really is. <coughs> Sorry. Emotions are running high. Yeah, you're, you're, that's you. That's you. That's your emotions. They're running high because you're angry at something. Or you're really upset over something. You're, you're replaying the past. You're, you might be embarrassed about something. Um, it doesn't matter. You got to let it go. Move on from it. Forgive yourself. Stop replaying it. You're magical. 
Let's heal from that. Okay? I know. Easier said than done. I get it. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Oh boy. Oh boy, Gemini. Could this be your past person that you're thinking about? Your twin flame? Twin flame journeys are not easy, and we're not always meant to be with our twin flame. Keep that in mind. Twin flames are, they mirror us, they make us face things about ourselves we don't want to face. They're passionate, but they're furious too. There's a lot of love, but there's also a lot of hate. Twin flames are a flipped coin. You get both sides. They're not fun. They're not fun relationships. They have moments of fun. They have moments of passion. They have moments of great love. But they also have moments of great hate. Moments of great anger. You know, they're not, they're not fun. They're not fun. My opinion, I don't like them. <laughs> don't like them. Um, don't ever want to see my twin flame again. Just don't. They're not fun. In another lifetime, just not this one. I'm done with it in this lifetime. So... That's what you could be dealing with. And uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. You get your, your um, crystal card and it's ruby. And it says, wherever you travel, be, carry these red slippers. You will find your journey more manageable. So they're saying that, that ruby will help you when you travel. But really, ruby is all about love. You know, it helps with love. It helps strengthen and combats weakness. It helps you combat loneliness and isolation and even abandonment issues. So whatever you're feeling right now, grab yourself a ruby because I think you need it. Or, like I said, if you don't have ruby available to you, visualize. Visualize yourself holding a ruby and visualize its healing qualities absorbing into you through osmosis because believe it or not we are magical creatures and that we can make that happen our mind is very powerful all right here's your charms i'm going to get you a yes or no question at the end with the pendulum as well so just start thinking of a yes or no question that you want to ask you got the good life so good things are happening for you so make that wish because it'll come true whatever you want somebody's going to be smitten with you just being you, just who you are. You don't have to change, okay? So don't worry about your past person and what they said. You got a new chapter in this book of love of yours. So something, you're about to start a new story. So make it a great story. Something beautiful is going to bloom, all right? So... You're going to grow something. Something that's going to grow and bloom and blossom and, and be beautiful. And you got February. So it's coming in. This beautiful time is coming in. All right, let's get your, your pendulum question. If you have a yes or no question, great. If not, pause the video because we're going to get an answer. Come on, we need an answer. All right. It looked like it was a maybe, but now it's definitely a yes. So we're keep it staying yes. So the answer to your question is yes. Hope that's the answer you wanted. <laughs> Anyway, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things will help me, and I appreciate you for that. Till next time, love and light.